This is Richard uh, with the latest Kickstarter update and a look at how you can use MakeTiles material system uh, with any mesh. And this allows you to create uh, textured miniature bases like this in a couple of clicks or to quickly create doors, architectural features and props uh, which have the same material on them as your tiles. So here I've got a couple of uh, miniature bases uh, which I've prepared for use with uh, MakeTile and all that I've done to them is uh, I've made sure that the top is uh, grid filled rather than being a single polygon uh, so that when I uh, turn this into a make tile object sort of the, the material the texture will be uh, distributed evenly. Um, okay so to make something into a make tile object it's as easy as uh, coming down here and clicking on convert to make tile object. And once that's done uh, the texture the make tile materials will be applied to the entire thing and we can you know just swap them around like we can do with a uh, you know, with any other um, sort of tile or whatever. Obviously, here it is, uh, the material is on the entire tile, it's not what we want. Uh, so I'm just going to click on Remove Material. I'm going to uh, tab into Edit Mode, select everything. Uh, I'm going to create another texture group, which is going to be the top. And uh, I'm just going to select uh, just the top vertices. assign my floor tile material to that and there we go we have floor tiles uh, um, click make 3d and there we go we've got our floor tiles now this is looking a little bit low resolution uh, normally there is an option up here to uh, increase the number of subdivisions um, but this is my sort of working copy um, and uh, that option just isn't there at the moment uh, so I'm just going to uh, bump that up and there we go we've got some nice sort of high resolution Floor tiles. Right, cool. I also wanted to show you how you can use the material uh, system with architectural elements. Uh, so I've created this uh, little arch. Um, it's not very good, it's a bit rubbish, uh, but it's just a dead simple mesh just to illustrate this. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did previously. I'm just going to uh, convert it to a make tile object. Sorry, so let's switch over to EV mode. And we've got the uh, material on the entire thing. Um, so this time I'm just going to leave it as is and uh, select it and click on Make 3D. And so immediately you've got, you know, something which is a really rough, crude stone arch, sort of thing you might find in a cavern or whatever. Uh, but we can also, we can come down here and uh, sort of turn this displacement strength down. Uh, so we get something which is a bit more refined, like you might find in a castle or whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's, you know, easy way of just creating different uh, textured architectural elements. Um, just to show you, you know, how quick um, this is and that I'm not cheating, um, I'll just uh, create a quick door. Um, so make a cube and uh, I'm just going to scale it. Sort of very Um, and I'm going to subdivide it. And then I'm going to select these bits on the front. And these faces on the back. And I'm just going to inset so I've got a little bit of a margin there. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, convert it to a make time object. Sides. I'm just going to remove the material from there. Yeah. Assign the different size to it. And assign that material there. And I'm going to swap my material for the custom image material. Uh, and then I'm going to come down here and in my polygonal settings, I'm just going to open up a plank material. So textures and this is a plank displacement material that I've just downloaded. Wait for the shader to compile and uh, I'm just going to rotate that around. Uh, scale it up a bit. a little bit. 
bit. Placement of it. There we go. We have a wooden plank door. So yeah. So basically, that's a you know I think a decent demonstration of uh, how you can use the uh, Make Tile Material System to you know very very quickly uh, model and texture objects using dead simple meshes. Um, so anyway, I think that's about enough for uh, today. Um, I'll be back later on in the week with uh, another update. Um, the Kickstarter is uh, up there until the 3rd of September, so you've still got time to back it. Um, and if you've not done so already, what are you waiting for? Okay, bye for now.